The United States and Japan jointly announced a dangerous decision. From now on, China will have an additional pair of reconnaissance eyes in the sky above its head? Fortunately, China has already made a plan. Once its trump card is revealed, it will not fall behind even if it is one versus two. When we look up, the sky is lit not only by endless stars, but also by the SpaceX star chain. Now, the United States and Japan have joined forces again to promote satellite warning, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. Reports say that this move is aimed at China. But compared to SpaceX, the Chinese version of Starlink is also progressing steadily. So, comparing the Chinese and American star chains, which one is stronger and which one is weaker? In terms of quantity, it is quite a lot, in terms of performance, it is powerful enough, and in terms of launch technology, it cannot be underestimated. In this video, let us learn more about it. The Starlink satellite launched by SpaceX in the United States has long become the benchmark for global commercial satellite constellation operations. At present, its expansion speed is still accelerating, gradually spreading a large network to the world. According to reports, SpaceX has broken launch records this year, compressing the Starlink launch cycle from the original 10.7 days to 3.92 days. In other words, nearly 2,000 satellites can be launched in a year, which is within easy reach of the final target of 42,000. What's more, Musk also emphasized that the launch cycle will be increased to once every two days in 2024, and the goal can be achieved as soon as 2027, occupying more than 70% of the satellite space in space. Data shows that Starlink has been suffering huge losses for a long time in the past. It was not until 2022 that the situation improved, with revenue reaching 1.4 billion US dollars. According to calculations by relevant organizations, its net revenue in 2023 is likely to exceed 3 billion US dollars. This is due to Starlink's users all over the world. By the end of 2023, its service users have reached 65 countries and more than 2.3 million people. It is conceivable that Starlink, which is developing rapidly, not only makes Musk excited, but also other countries, such as Japan and China. Let's talk about China first. China will increase its efforts to develop commercial satellites and build the State Grid National Network, GW, and G60 projects consisting of about 13,000 satellites. Because of this, the outside world regards GW and G60 as China's response to Musk, that is, the Chinese version of Starlink. Specifically, GW and G60 are both low-orbit satellite plans formulated by China and are part of the Starlink plan. They will enhance China's strength in the commercial satellite field and provide services to more users. However, the implementers, scale, and goals are all different. The former aims to establish a global satellite internet system and plans to deploy 13,000 satellites in low Earth orbit to provide internet services to users around the world. In addition, GW will be further subdivided into two sub-constellations, GWA-59 and GW-2. The latter G60 covers only the Yangtze River Delta region of China, aiming to improve the entire industrial chain, expand the market, and promote technological research. Therefore, although its number exceeds 12,000, it is slightly less than GW. It is worth mentioning that these two major projects are developing much faster and better than imagined. For example, the G60 has now landed in Shanghai and started related production work. It is expected that the number of launches will reach 108 in 2024, 
and will then be produced at a rate of 300 per year. It is expected to be fully completed in 2027. Of course, its production speed is still slightly behind the American Starlink. The other party can produce about six Starlinks per day, while the Chinese factory can produce one and a half Starlinks per day. Rockets are one of the key factors in satellite launches, and China has also made major breakthroughs in rocket technology. China has successfully developed reusable rocket technology, which is the world's first reusable rocket. With this technology, Falcon 9 can launch at least 23 satellites at a time, greatly reducing launch costs and laying the foundation for more efficient, economical and safer launch activities in the future. In addition, China plans to make greater progress in reusable technology. Through the successful launch of the test spacecraft from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, China no longer lags behind the United States in reusable technology. In the future, China will further develop this technology and enhance its competitiveness in the global commercial satellite launch market. All in all, tens of thousands of Chinese version of Starlink have entered the countdown to launch and the strength that has been withheld for many years finally has an opportunity to show off. The strength we are talking about here refers not only to the development speed of Starlink, but also to satellite construction capabilities, launch capabilities, and satellite performance. Rockets are the most important part of satellite launches, and SpaceX mainly relies on the reusable technology of the Falcon 9 rocket. Falcon 9 is the world's first reusable rocket and can launch at least 23 satellites at a time. Against this background, the cost of launches in the United States has been greatly reduced, laying the foundation for more efficient, economical and safer launch activities in the future. Although China is developing in this field later than the United States, its speed is definitely not slow. Official media reported that the Long March 2F carrier rocket successfully launched a reusable test spacecraft from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. After operating in orbit for a period of time, it can return to the ground. This means that China will no longer lag behind in reusable technology in the future. In terms of performance, the Chinese version of Starlink is definitely no worse than the American one. In recent years, the United States and Japan have been ready to take action. They announced that they will join forces to strengthen satellite communication networks and enhance alert, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. First, Japan plans to use solar cells to achieve long-term operation of communication base stations in the stratosphere through public-private cooperation. Second, it plans to use the American Starlink constellation, GPS, and Japan's quasi-zenith satellite system to achieve information sharing. The key is that the report believes that if something happens in the Taiwan Strait in the future, the United States and Japan will be able to immediately coordinate their actions and gain control of the air and sea as soon as possible. However, the United States and Japan have forgotten a very critical point, which is that China has certain advantages in both Starlink satellites and positioning systems. Recently, China's Long March 3B carrier rocket and Yuanzheng 1 upper stage launched the 57th and 58th Beidou satellites. This is the first MEO satellite launched after the completion of the Beidou 3 system. Once connected, it can further improve the performance of the Beidou system. Needless to say, Starlink has a launch orbit much lower than that of the American Starlink. This means that the Chinese version of Starlink can see more clearly, is cheaper, can be deployed on a larger scale, and can be launched at a faster speed. 
To put it simply, the Chinese version of Starlink can completely defeat the United States and Japan in a one versus two match. On the other hand, American Starlink directly clicked on the wrong technology tree in a panic. During the Russia-Ukraine conflict, a large number of Starlink terminals entered the front line, becoming a milestone event in the history of American technology. However, its broad list of user groups does not include China, which means that Starlink cannot be used in China. China does not have the American Starlink, but it has the world's most powerful internet backbone line, that is, the Internet of Things infrastructure. Its importance lies in the fact that they compete with each other during peacetime and serve as backup during wartime. The coverage rate is unimaginably high. In the United States, the distribution of the Internet is extremely uneven, which makes its infrastructure a big step behind China. There is no Internet in the subway and no Internet in rural areas. In the future, with the continuous development of science and technology and the advancement of social progress, the commercial satellite field will usher in broader development space and opportunities. China should seize this period of opportunity, continuously improve its scientific and technological strength and innovation capabilities, and make greater contributions to the development of the global commercial satellite field. At the same time, China should also actively participate in international cooperation and exchanges, and work with other countries to promote sustainable development and win-win cooperation in the commercial satellite field. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.